video we manage everything <coughs> and the only thing i have created is a create profile information page this is a clean page i have nothing there i deleted the column and so we put the column back what we need to do here right now we need to help user to fill up his information uh, because once he creates the account let's go to sign up page and make this one work we click on uh, open in actions and we add an action that's saying navigate to create profile information page all right so allow navigation back we turn off ignore redirects turn on what does this button do it does not allow uh, to navigate after registration to navigate to home page because the user doesn't have any information about himself so we must make him to create that information all right so we just ignore redirects close and go to create profile information page first uh, what we have is that the user was uh, that one and make it extension turn off uh, we have to shrink wrap and primary turn on the primary and extension so here you have like four images like that one and then we have a button to upload images upload images uh, after that we have a text field uh, create your username and let's say we need to tell him that uh, enter your phone number and one more button continue right so first of all we take a column and give it 24 to 24 on the right side and the left side uh, on the upload image we can add an action to upload media upload type because we must choose firebase allow photo right we're videos media source okay if you want to upload multiple images see i click here right i cannot do anything so you choose gallery and then we can turn on the multiple images quality image less than 50 so it's gonna wait less and show snake bar it's gonna show you once your videos are uploaded right and into the grid view we just send one image and give the border radius 12 to the image and next we take the grid view and we go to generate dynamic children and variable name is going to be uploaded images max items four and uh, from here we need to choose the button upload image and continue confirm okay done we have four images here so we take an image go to the path so here you have an icon and upload it images item and confirm all right so done once we upload image it's going to show here the only problem right now is that uh here we told him that maximum items is four all right and here we can upload as many as we want so what we're going to do right now we open action and say uh add condition conditions single condition first value is going to be uh, upload uh, widget state upload the file urls a number of items confirm equal to four confirm so if it's four items we say uh, we just terminate so if it's items okay we need to change something uh, less than or ah less than or equal less than or equal to to four so if it's true nothing happens just upload me the images if it's false add an action and we tell him to show us a message alert dialogue uh, title is gonna be uh, error only for images allowed and okay and then we say add terminate so here we don't need to terminate an action sorry we delete that one so yeah because he needs to continue the uh, uploading images uh, another problem is that once we get to that page the page is broken why because we don't have these images we are showing these images but we don't have any images here uh it's kind of like it's gonna show it is uh, the page will try to show you something what you don't have so before uploading images we set the condition condition visibility conditions single condition first value 
widget state, uploaded file URLs, uh, number of items, confirm, greater than specific value zero. So if it's more than zero, show me this widget. If it's zero, then you don't show anything to me and click on confirm, all right? So once we get to that page, nothing gonna happen right now because we hide that image because this image does not have anything. Uh, let's go to text field and just very quickly give it the uh, styles. And fine, border color. That one, fox color. That one, error. That one, border radius one. So, uh, we gave him a design, so right now let's go for some paintings. Done. So, uh, we didn't do... So, uh, done. We finished. What we do right now, we just click on continue, add an action, fire store, update document, and we need to update authenticated user, user reference. So, we need to update him, the a user who just logged in signed up and create time we can delete it phone number we keep it uid we delete it photo url we keep it and display name we keep it email we don't need so one more thing we need as you can see we have a grid view we have like four images right but if we go to the collections and we have only one image we can give one string one url oh i'm showing the phone number yeah let's <laughs> hear uh, photo real image pass only one we need like more than one so uh, my images we are creating new schema so is list make it true and photo pass done right now you see that it is a list of images and we confirm it so we go back click on continue add a field open this email field and choose my images list update type set value so if you add to set so you add one image by one but we have four images at the same time so we need to set value uh, uploaded photo video url right done and we open the action flow and say that you need to do is navigate to home page so first you update my information then you go to home page and allow the back navigation turned off what we forgot is that let's open the action flow go to backend call we have a photo url we forgot everything guys seriously so we take from variable and widget state text field one and phone number is going to be uh, widget state text field 2 we did my images but we didn't do my image so uh, let's go here and I want to have an image here all right so there are some errors okay so I want this image to be the first one 12 padding and let's give it like that size and padding 12 uh, and of course we need to set up this image like from here uh, the first image that's going to be uploaded must be shown here as well so what we do we take path we click on here and we just state uploaded file urls available option we choose item at index we can choose a specific index and make the value zero so uh, in the coding process there's always the first item is always zero and then it goes one two three so if it's index zero yeah so this one gonna be like your image uh, another thing we you remember that we did like condition visibility here right if it's less than zero or more than zero then show me and here we don't have anything so what we're gonna do here we just Let's create an uh, opening tab and find uh, upload image. Go to 
images and see what kind of uh, you want to use, what kind of image. Let's, no, I don't need that one. Let's say default image. Yep, we can use that one. Uh, click on here and copy address URL of the image, all right? And we paste it default variable value. We paste that here and done. The same thing, of course, we can do here, clicking on that image and default value like that one. Let's do build this way. I'm not, we are not gonna turn off this one. Go to action flow. We open photo URL. And right now we need to uh, update our photo URL because we didn't do it yet. So we can take widget state, uploaded file, uploaded file URLs list string. Right now it's gonna ask me what kind of item I want to show as my profile image. So I choose item at index. Uh, I can choose first one or last one or give it a specific index. So let me choose the first one that is uploaded and confirm. So let me also as well take that link here, right? Go to continue and take my photo URL. Here I have a default uh, variable value. So if my image will not upload and there will be some kind of problem, error or anything else, uh, I will have that demo default image because if I don't have it, I will have a error in the future. 